Oh, right. And I will be the backbone. Get us across the line against you too. Number one in Europe versus number one in North America. Hit it top. Pissed? You know why I'm pissed today? I forgot who you guys are. Y'all are okay. phase, bro. Y'all are back to fucking back. You know phase what? on me. Phase on three. One, two, three. Man! Since the fall major, we knew we had a lot to work on, and we had practiced and practiced, and the regionals have gone uh, kind of on a roller coaster. It was a huge dip at first, and then a huge upswing. Um, we banded together a lot as a roster, and now the vibes are, are they're the best that they've ever been so far. So the main focus between online and LAN is to kind of keep the same practices that we've had online and try to transfer them over, but the main the main background of that is kind of our team chemistry and our teamwork, as that has carried us pretty much the whole way. Two hours. You're gonna, they're gonna fucking come pick you up at one game. Sorry, just like it's been like this. So like, um, I, I think our top four mental block is. I mean, we don't know if it's there yet because we haven't gotten there yet. But uh, we're just trying to like focus on like one series at a time and not try to think too far ahead because like that's when you know problems start and you just like get overconfident in your in your current series and then. You know, you underestimate your opponent and then you just lose and then yeah. The team's confidence, we're the number one seed coming out of North America and in a lot of people's eyes, the favorites to win this tournament. And I think in, our, in my players' eyes, we are the favorites to win this tournament. Uh, we just gotta go out there and prove it. Spot here with Corelli. We're gonna be calling the action. We've got FaZe and G1. FaZe, the dominant team from North America coming up against a European team. Any sort of offense coming out from FaZe. No shots to register. This Just one's gonna in. slide in for Dorito, and it's 3 0. Now we're seeing some demos. This is the best is. opportunity yet, and they score it. Maybe the first good look the first killers have, but here comes Mark by eight, looking for two, and he can't get the Dorito to put it away. First touch control, second touch, great clear. Oh, now a shot face. opportunity. Bump the bumps! The bumps coming through for FaZe Clan. Cooling off a bit. There's a demo again. Dorito spawning. Back into the play Ooh. and missed. Will launch it over a fade. Was there Dorito doing his job? Dorito, oh, like touch. <laughs> Rebound opportunity. Oh, Mark. Less than two minutes left to go. First killer. <laughs> He's reaching deep into his bag of tricks. One of the tournament favorites. Most people had them rated at least one or two at the bare minimum here. And of course, we're still in the group stage, but. This was a one seed against the five, and for G1, having to go through tiebreakers to come out on top, that's a big win for G1. Uh, yeah, G1 came out really strong, but I think mainly it was just that we came out really slow. And um, I think mainly against every other team, we'll be fine as long as we play our match and you know just play how we know how to play. And it's like not that like hard, it's just simple. We weren't awake. We really weren't awake. And we came out, got slapped in the face, uh, we tried to bounce back. It was great for the team to not give up in the, uh, being down 0-2. They didn't give up at all, which was hu a huge bonus. Teams that we should look out for and teams that will ultimately do better on land than they do online are teams from other regions that we aren't expecting and teams that excel in their region. So, so those top four, uh, Carmine Korg, Liquid, Gen.G, and G2 are like our biggest, biggest opponents. Team from South America who had to fight through a tiebreaker to be here. And so let's get into this one. FaZe versus Crew. Secret's been proof of that. Why not Crew is right now. They get demoed and Sipical will put it away. To find but he recovers nicely, actually finds Mist. And oh, now the, the tough backward read is missed in first killer. I don't think I've ever seen FaZe double commit more than these first two series we've watched currently. Oh! Yep. And missed. The back pass from drops, intercepted by Mist. Mist going for the backboard. Oh. Mist denied, but the rebound goes in. Together, first killer really stretching out, just denying them. As soon as you think they got pressure, up. now Mist with a pre-jump, the shot goes high, follow-up's there, and it's gonna squeak in on the left side. Oh. Rufino has Brad, but the ball hit hard off to the side. And FaZe Clan finished with a sweep. You cannot look back on the series and not highlight the performance that Mist had yeah. in this year. It's impossible. It's lights out. Oh, just incredible. Incredible performance. And what? what? 
Yo, Yo, beef. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I don't know what to say, Easy, easy, 3-0. I think that first series against G1 kind of just like made us all really annoyed. Like, we knew we could have did better, and I think in Screw, we kind of took out that anger. So, uh, with things going well online, I think uh, we have a lot more confidence going to LAN, especially against NA teams as well. But online really carries us to this momentum and stuff, so we're feeling good. Where's your slides? My slides? They make me four feet tall. I want to be like five foot. Oh. Um, we were just a lot better than them, but uh, we, we, we improved a little bit, but we, we were just a lot better than them individually, to be honest. I guess I'll catch you later. Yeah, it's exit only, but goodbye. It's not gonna happen. Bro, uh, what did you just do? Uh, particle detail. How you me mug the camera? Because the camera's on my face. The team's been gelling pretty well, you know. I mean, I got missed sitting in that first kill's priming, and then maybe I can hit the ball a couple times and we'll win. Maybe not. I mean, we'll see. Next. So we're gonna go scrim, warm up for G2, and um, hopefully get the dub there. I think we will. But if we don't, then. You probably won't see me again. Hey, Goodbye. I respect the wide variety of first clear clips, missed sitting in net and farming saves just for stats. And I will be the backbone to get get us across the line against G2. We're playing G2. I can't take this shit off. Right, don't they have like unmarked ones though? Like down there? Yeah, but I want to chug this. Is that a flex? <laughs> yeah, is that cool or something? <sighs> now I'm hydrated. Oh, I got to squirt that hood. Alright, bro, alright. I'm not going to do the corny shit. I'm not going to do the bullshit. Obviously, I'll play for a legacy. Like, y'all know that shit, right? You guys have the dog in you. But you know what the issue is here? You know why I'm pissed? I mean, I'm normally pissed, but you know why I'm pissed today? The motherfuckers forgot who you guys are. Y'all are fucking face, bro. Y'all are fucking back to fucking back. And you know what happened yesterday? Oh, Fraser sleeper team. Oh, not, dude, fuck being a sleeper team, dude. We're the fucking dogs, bro. All right, hey, everybody bring it in right here. We're out there on a fucking mission. Phase on me, phase on three. One, two, three, three. Like that. Phase clan, G2 with the rest of the group in the palm of their hands. This has been something that has been developing. FaZe Clan already striking hot! G2, when they play that play style that everyone knows is just so signature to them, it works, but this time, FaZe Clan making a statement. Missed off the backboard for Sifter goal and a two goal lead. First killer, so he'll send the ball to the corner. First killer's moving downfield, looking for Chicago, setting up difficult for the shot! Who would play who based on how oh, the match plays out? First half! Oh, bang, bang! First killer as Face Clan goes first in the group. This is a full, well rounded roster that is, again, trying to get past that fourth place spot. They want to take this trophy home. If they keep playing like that, they just might. And that's the thing. It's about Face realizing it, yes. The better team. Yes, you have an opportunity. Right there, yeah, man. No, missed it. Typical. Got him to the door. First killer opened it. Walked through it. Slammed it shut behind him. Phase. Top out of bro. I was holding up. Where's the guy to hype me up? Where's the guy to hype me up? Gersh. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, that's not good enough. Dude. Well, the game went as expected since we've played each other a million times. We just needed to play well mechanically. We kind of played well mechanically towards the end, but I mean, it was a sloppy series, but it looked nice on, on camera, I think. I don't know, I, I expect my, myself to step up like later on in the tournament, personally. Yeah, I think G2 lacked 
control in the entire series, specifically in the first game. The only game that they won, I think we were still in control, or we just had a couple mistakes that allowed them to have a couple goals. But entirely, all in all, we completely dominated G2. We know how to play against them full and full. I think when we're playing our best, like we're super confident in, like, in each other, like especially like, on the goal line. Like I think it's when we thrive, like just communicating really well, like controlling the ball well, like, really close to each other. Kind of like directing traffic a lot, like who wants to go for what ball. But if we're playing like that, I'm pretty confident like we could be anybody. So uh, I always like playing Gen G just because of our little rivalry we had, like especially last split, like they were beating us a lot, and then this split we kind of have their number. So I always like playing them and beating them. But other than that, I want to play Carmine Corp just because like all the hype around them. Like I don't think they're insane. Yeah, as everyone says, but you know, they're still pretty good, but I want to play them. And what an honor it is to be here, to present to you this amazing best of seven. These two are coming into the quarterfinals as complete opposite. What am I doing? I don't know who I'll see. I think, I think I'm going to score uh, like six, seven goals. Yeah, seven goals. You know, best seven, seven goals. Yeah, that, that's not right Jack, now a one on one against Stimmel. Oh, and he gets destroyed. Oh, Jack my. is Jack. Back. He's got touch, but a loose ball. That first killer, there he is. Indeed, we know this man. I feel fast enough. Everyone from Phase was first killer still there. Oh, 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 oh. Don't lose the entire team. Right on time and right on target. First oh. killer. It's an illusion with Miz, and you don't even have to touch it. G. Chronic now off the ceiling. He's got Nolly supporting him, but a save and a little pitch pass. Back to oh Jack. My oh my goodness. God. Eight. Winner takes this to match point. Another pass in front, Miss scores! Winning the kickoff! How many times does he have to make that save? How many times do they have to save their corners? Here's the box, here's FaZe! Oh! <laughs> Absolute dynamite! FaZe this And there we are, we're gonna speaking one of the that was, uh, yeah. The game plan was just to not get over a desperate because if we get over desperate, we could just give the ball to them and overcommit. I always make sure to not commit two players into one play on offense because that could lead to a counterattack. And I mean, just let the play come to you, no matter the time. After game three, we just like talked and we just said, we know how to beat these guys. We're better than them. We just need to stick to our plan and just remind ourselves that we're better. And then at the end, we'll just take the W. We We go the top dogs of North America. Again, going for the bump. He loves going for those against Jet G. And then he, he hits the double tap. Great recognition, understanding your teammate got taken out the play. Oh. And you keep it pushing. TRR, he's pushing for the first goal. And he gets it's it. Defeated. And now they're getting bumped. Oh. And that's also oh, a cool bump. And in positions typical, oh. has been quiet, but not anymore. Attacks under control. I think this is your game to win. All this space is yours to take. CRR has a little bit of it up the field. There it is. Raise ball. What happens here? Do we go to Champions Field? Phase Clan certainly thinks so. Typical scores. Just gets back to the top. Oh, quick counter attack. And there it is. First pillar score. Immaculate defense, but they need one more. They get it. And that's it, Turtle. And it's going to fall. It's going to fall. We're going the distance. The opportunities were there, but FaZe Clan's defense just one step ahead every single time. You know I mean? just get him no, they like surprised me. Him. I didn't think they were actually playing pretty well. CR. Like, no. I was one time I like jumped for Rizmo on the back wall. And you, like the only risk with that is like maybe, maybe you like at the end of your air dribble, they just like dunk you. The main like, focus I had sitting behind them was to make sure that they stayed patient and they weren't trying to rush a goal in. We had a lot of pressure on them and the main, the main focus was to make sure that they were patient defensively, keeping the comms up, make sure the comms weren't dying down so that everybody was aware of what was happening on the field. Playing against Carmine Corp in the finals, Winter Major. Come check it out. Tune in. Come support. To be decided. Right. Face Clan versus Carmine Corp. All right. Come for top dog. Top fucking dog. Top fucking dog. All right. And we're here to fucking win. Face on me. Face on three. One, two, three. Face. We're going to do it again. <laughs> they are got MVP, especially if he converts here, but no. From 
K Corp, and then Exotic gets one, legit one for himself. Get in the series, difficult. But it's confirming first kill down field. He's got it. K Corp, too far forward. Trying to get that through. It's difficult with some control here. A shot, a goal! Twice we've seen K Corp in these playoffs take their time the out. Come up with wins. Now Exotic, four of us here for the lead. No. Tira dumps it back in now with 10 seconds left. He scored at zero in game five to put K Corp in this ball. Oh, no! Hachi, wide open, right between the eyes. They'll try to bring this to ground as quickly as they can. Exotic, the last touch. How fitting is it? K Corp at long last gets the major title. Major champion. It was kind of something where we felt it like kind of slipping out of our hands a little bit and again had to take another time out, rally the boys back up and tell them this is it, you know, like this is the last chance, this is, this is backs against the wall, we're, we're, we were ready for war. I told them to be ready for battle, they're not going to go down easy, but I'm proud of the boys, they fought to the very end. And I want to tell you personally right now that this is the best that this team has ever been. And moving forward, we will only improve from here. We will be the best, and we will lift that trophy. So just hang on tight. We're right there.